Hey there! In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the first part pack of the series, and that's the Habitat Pack by Porkjet. You guys are already familiar with Porkjet's work, whether you know it or not, because his modding is so exceptional that Squad made a deal with him to incorporate his Space Plane Plus mod into the stock game, starting with version 0.25. Now I've chosen to highlight this mod today for a couple reasons. First of all, it's fundamentally unique in that there are no other part packs I'm aware of that have both inflatable and spinning animations included in a simple part pack that doesn't introduce other gameplay changes. Secondly, it includes a valuable two Kerbal Soyuz-like command pod, which bridges the gap between the starter Mark 1 pod and the heavy 2.5 meter Mark 1-2 pod. This allows you to create much more efficient and aesthetic rockets for those rescue contracts. No more stacking Mark 1 pods like Christmas trees or creating a rocket out of airplane cockpits. This six part collection is some of the coolest parts you'll find in KSP. But before we have a look at these parts in game, we'll need to do a quick CCAN install. Okay, with CCAN open, we're going to do a quick search for HAB. And there you see Habitat Pack by Porkjet. Let's select that. Let's check our relationships. You can see it depends on Fire Spitter Core and Layered Animations. Now, Fire Spitter Core is a very common mod. We have no hesitation to install that whatsoever as well as layered animations. Let's check if it conflicts with anything. No, uh, no other additional recommended mods available. Okay, so apply changes. We can see all three items there. Let's go ahead and install. There, looks like that was successful. And we're ready to have a look in game. All right, so let's go to the VAB and have a look at these parts. As I mentioned, there is a Soyuz-like command pod in this pack, so let's have a look at that. A couple things to remember with this pod is that it has stability assist, but no reaction wheel. So don't forget to add one or some RCS to your ship. The other thing is that it has a lower max temp than the other command pods, so don't forget to use a heat shield to prevent overheating on re-entry. Let's uh, go ahead and select that. Now the other five parts in this pack are in the Utilities tab, so let's go have a look there. The first one we'll look at is the Inflato Storage Container, the PA330. You just stick that on underneath. You can see it's not inflated. It holds four Kerbals. Uh, I want to put the Centrifuge on next. So the centrifuge, as you can see by the model, it also inflates and expands. It also holds four Kerbals. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. All right, let's go back and add the Inflato Storage 550. So you can see it's a little bit larger, a little bit longer. And then lastly, there is the Inflato storage container flat. So we'll put that on here and then we'll finish off with the final, the sixth and final part is a low profile base mount. And there you have it there. So these are the six parts uh, that are part of Pork Jet's habitat pack. Just back out a little bit. As you can see, these are all 1.25 meter parts, except the Inflato flat and the base mount, which are 2.5 meter parts. What you can't tell from my VAB here is that these parts are mid to late game parts, with the 550 and centrifuge in particular being at the end of the tech tree. If we look at the crew tab, one of the things you'll see here is that it's only the it's only the command pod and the centrifuge that allow you to have Kerbals in them. All of the other uh, habitats need to be inflated before they can house any Kerbals. Alright, now we could look at all these animations here in the VAB, but I don't want to do that. I want to show them to you the way they were intended to be shown, and that's in space. So let's go have a look at a ship I already put in orbit. Let's 
So let's find it in the tracking station and jump to it. So here we have a ship with all the parts we just looked at as well as a small section in the middle with a reaction wheel and some RTGs for power. Now with none of the habitats deployed, if you try to do a transfer you'll see that none of the uh, other spaces are available to move Kerbals into. So if we quit out of there and we deploy the 330, checking out the cool animation as it goes, now you can see if we try to do a transfer it's available for transfer so let's do that. Now you can see here Foki Kerman she is in that 330 and there is an IVA there. In fact all of the inflatables except the flat have IVAs but I don't want to spoil the chuckles you'll get when you see them for the first time so I'm not going to show them here. Now if we open up the 550 You'll see it's definitely a bit bigger than the 330, which is why it can hold six Kerbals, two more than the 330, the flat, or the centrifuge, all of which can hold only four Kerbals. Now I'm going to save the centrifuge for last, so let's go ahead and open up the flat. One of the cool things about this part is that at the end of the animation, you'll see the docking ports and the airlock expose themselves. I think I just think that's great. There's docking ports all around plus the airlock here you can see. Lastly, the base mount on the bottom here also has a nice little animation and once we deploy it you can see. This part is great for pork jets pack but I also use it under a lot of the stock 2.5 meter parts when building surface bases. So we've saved the best for last. Here's the centrifuge. Let's go ahead and deploy it. Now that's pretty cool, but a centrifuge is only any good if it's spinning, so let's get it going. There you have it folks, one of my favorite parts in all of KSP. You can spin it in both directions, but once the centrifuge is started, you can't stop it. Not that you'd ever want to. Okay guys, so that's where we're going to leave it for today. I absolutely love this mod, and I'm sure you can see the many possibilities these parts bring to building both space and surface base stations. So have fun with Pork Jets Habitat Pack, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.